very much. I'm very glad to be here. And my passion and my love is to get people to make music who never thought they are a musician. And therefore, I have de developed many programs and huge sound, sound sculptures. And these I couldn't bring here. So I just want to show you a little glimpse with a short movie about the things I couldn't bring here. And then I'm going to get you to make some music. This was too big to bring here, but um, I want to show you some of my collections. And you already used to your hands to give some applauses. And in Japan, big groups of people coming together where nobody knows each other, they use a nice clapping formula to greet each other. It goes like this. Hey, they shout. They do this two times. Let's try together. Hey! Hey! Great! And of course you can learn from your hands how music works. For example, if you want to do a very slow beat, try. You can feel that it's quite difficult to maintain the time. But if you travel to Morocco, you find a way of clapping like this. And so the movement makes it much easier for your brain to feel the time. And you can see musicians all over the world even playing the piano, doing big movements to play a slow beat. Now, on the other side, if you want to become very fast, you of course have to practice. And you always start slow when you start to learn an instrument. Now, this one is coming from Indonesia. It's used for the gamelan music now. Take one hand and make some space, and the other one follows and clap. Now this one takes space, and this one clap. Now you bring together these movements, and you first clap slow, and you learn these movements inside your muscles, and then you slowly become faster, and you can learn from this that making music is like learning how to ride a bicycle. You start slowly and you have to learn it inside your muscles. And at the end, you can be very fast. And the interesting thing is, you will never forget. Because making, playing an instrument is like learning how to ride a bicycle. If you did it, you will never forget, even after 10 years, you can still ride the bicycle because it's inside the remembrance of your muscles. This is very important. That's why a long time of practicing is so important. 
You can learn from your hands about sound colors, too. You can make very bright sound colors, like this. <laughs> Try it. This is from Turkey, and the kids in Turkey make a very low beat, like this, too. The same setting I saw in Mexico from a mobile baker on a bicycle, a tricycle, using this clapping, which is very strong, to announce his fresh made bread. And the same clapping again I saw in December when I was invited to Kuwait, it's called Sherbuka, and this is used again by big, big groups to do a greeting together. Now we can try this side, please, makes a slow clap like this. So you think of one, two, one, two, go on. And now we make three against this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, Great. Even in your neighbor country in Spain, people used to make lots of different clapping sounds, lots of clapping sound colors. Like, you got it? <laughs> or, in fact, imitating sounds of reality was one of the origins of music. But to find crazy new sounds is the other big energy behind making music and developing all these different kinds of musical instruments. Now, look at this one. This is a vacuum implosion plug. You just take the victory sign, the finger you're usually not allowed to show, <laughs> put them together, create something new, put it to your cheek and just... <coughs> okay. It took me four weeks to learn it, so don't be... <laughs> now, so much about your hands. But we already were playing our mouth. And in fact, all presenters here use their language and their speech and their vocal cords. And I want to show you the most fascinating instrument which was ever made by evolution. This is our voice. And um, the voice consists out of three different machines, of course. First, what do you need? Air, right? Wait a minute, these air balloons are uh, <laughs> Sorry, don't use them. Now, in fact, you put some air inside your lungs, and then you have like a steam machine, you put some pressure to try it. And then, the air pressure goes through your air tube, to your vocal cords, and they are like lips. So if you put some pressure against your lips, they will start to flutter. But this is only a very low frequency, it's more rhythm. But if you put more pressure to your lips, you will get the real tone. Now the same happens with this balloon. So this is pitch you create. So we can do some different pitches. Sing with me. So this is our pitch machine. And the vocal cords, they can make all these different tones because they can be shortened or made longer like, like a guitar string. It can be stretched like a guitar string and it becomes big or little, getting more or less mass. Only that far we can make about five octaves with these little vocal cords. Try again. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the, in the third machine, we are using, again, it's our mouth to do different kind of sound colors. And even with this balloon, you can sound as if you are speaking. So, you have the same pitch, but you can make A, E, E, O, U. Try it. A, E, E, O, U. Only to make different sound colors, bright and dark sounds. So your vocal cords, mm, they make high or low sounds and your, the form of your mouth makes bright or dark sounds. Now, I want you all to stand up. And uh, I want to get you to sing shortly, but first we will warm up with a very little African dance. Can we get the music shortly? So just freeze. It's called isolation and polycentrism. So just first we isolate our eyes. And this will get you over your after lunch fatigue. And then you make little dance only with your face. Make lots of grimaces. Music is made to express feelings. And so we have about 20 muscles in our face only to express feelings that the kids use them a lot. Adults get a bit stiff. Okay, now warm up your head, but don't break your neck. Now your shoulders. Of course your hands. And your hips. And your left foot. And your right foot get a little gymnastics. Okay, now we freeze again. That was isolation. Now we are going to do polycentrism. So your head stays frozen, your feet stay frozen, but the rest of your body can move to the music. It's like your head is the North Pole, your feet are the South Pole, the hip is the equator. Now we get a little catastrophe of climate. You freeze again, and now the poles are going to melt. So your head and your feet are allowed to dance, but the rest of your body stays frozen. Okay, now you freeze again, and now we are going to follow the music. So your head takes one of the drums, and your shoulders take the high drums, your hands take the middle drums, and hips and feet take the low drums, and your body is full of music, and that's called voice and drum, and you need it when you drive a car. You have to steer, give gas, or brake. And that's why making music is so good for your body and your brain because you connect everything. Okay? No, no, you can just, please. Just the music can go down. Keep on standing, please. Thank you. Now, I have more time. I have more time. Now, I just want you to warm up your voice a little. Go like. Um, and warm up your trombone. Okay. Now, that's what the choir always does for half an hour, but I only have 18 minutes to warm up. Now, I want you to become a big cry choir. Now, if I open and each big group meets a conductor, okay? Every musician's group of musicians, over five people, needs a conductor. Now, if I open my hands, you are going to shout out loud, okay? First, you start slow, a little bit, and then... So that was a monophonic cry choir. Now we are going to do a polyphonic cry choir, following the history of music. Now, this side over there, you are going to cry when I open this hand, okay? Ah, ah. This side, you are going to cry when I open this hand. Ah, 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 ah. And the middle. Ah, ah. Nice choir, and I was fast enough. I want to show you 
one of my most loved games. It's coming from Western Africa. That's a strange name. It's called Making Up a Melody from the Syllables of a Word. Does it sound like fun? You know what? Sometimes scientists hide wonderful games behind strange words, probably because they get so much tax money. <laughs> okay, I make a song from my name. Now you have to learn the German pronunciation. It's called Michael. Can you say one time? <laughs> Michael. And I'm going to use my name to make up a song. And you know what? 80% of world's music are just learned by following another person and not by reading scores. So you don't have to be able to read scores to make music. This is very important because many people think if I can't read scores, I can't do music. This is absolutely wrong. Okay. <laughs> from Western Africa like this. Thank you very much. <laughs> 